Hello friends, this is Dr. Anshika. You also know me as Dr. with CML. So like in the previous videos where I have explained about various skin condition, rare skin disorders, this video is about a skin condition known as tinea versicolor. That what it is, how is it caused, how can it be treated. So let's get started. Tinea versicolor. It is also known as tyriasis versicolor. It is a fungal infection of skin caused by a fungus known as fungus Malassezia furfur. The fungus interferes with the normal pigmentation of skin resulting in a small discolored patches. As you can see in the picture, the patches appear lighter in color than the surrounding skin. Then it is not contagious and does not cause any health issue. Now if we talk about the causes, the rapid growth of the fungus causes the discoloration of skin resulting in tinea versicolor. As you can see in the picture, the tinea versicolor is caused by a superficial infection of the skin. As you can see in the picture, the below layers are not infected. Only the superficial layer of the skin, that is the stratum corneum, is infected. Now the possible causes of tinea versicolor. Weak immune system, hormonal imbalance, excessive oily skin, poor hygiene, living in hot and humid climates, excessive sweating and a family history or a genetic history of tinea versicolor. These can be the possible causes of tinea versicolor. Now if we talk about the clinical feature that is the appearance, how does it look? So the most visible symptom as you can see in the picture is change in the skin color. The discolored patches usually appear on the arms, chest, back, neck. It can also go up to the hair region, the head region. And uh, as you can see in the picture, the surrounding skin and the tinea versicolor, the skin appears hypopigmented. That is appearance of white patches. And uh, the skin can also be dry, itchy and patchy. Now, if we talk about the diagnosis, we usually shouldn't diagnose it yours ourselves because whenever we think about watch white patches whenever we see a white patch we usually think that it is vital ego so rather than self-diagnosing it we should consult a doctor who can diagnose it that what condition it is is it vital ego tinea versicolor or some other underlying skin condition we also should get our histology done to check that it is tinea versicolor or not. Then if we talk about the treatment, lifestyle changes, avoiding prolonged exposure to the sun, UV rays, avoid going out in the hot and humid temperatures, bathing daily and avoid excessive accumulation of oil and dirt on the skin. And also if we go to a doctor, he will prescribe antifungal medication. Antifungal medications may contain oral medications, creams, lotions and if the infection is spread to the head or um, the shampoos are also considered. So we shouldn't take the medication ourselves because a doctor will prescribe a certain dose for it. Thank you. So this is all about tinea versicolor. Thank you.